Hi, this is Ashley from Live Happy Tarot. Today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. I'm so excited to get these. They're so pretty. I've seen them um, on Instagram already and I couldn't wait. And they came really fast. They said they were going to be back ordered and they moved the date up really for three weeks. I was going to not get them until the end of July and I've already gotten them. So um, they come in this nice two-piece um, box. On the back is really cute little explanation of cards. Um, I have not opened these, so they come in, you know, a little piece of plastic. And here are the cards. Compared to a tarot deck, they're a little bit bigger and taller. And here's the guidebook. I feel like they look a little bit like seahorses rather than unicorns. I think they're so cute. I love the whimsical nature of these cards. You can tell the book is shiny. Inside the book, um, this is by Vonic Magic and Priestess Moon. I'm not really sure. Um, oh my goodness, look at this absolutely gorgeous design on the back, in the back of the book. In the guidebook, it has beautiful, colorful um, illustrations. I couldn't remember the word for a second. Um, yeah, and it has layouts and it has how to use your deck and it talks about unicorn magic. As you work with the cards, ask for the rainbow colored light of unicorn spells to help guide you. Each unicorn will give you an action to perform to enhance your reading. You do not have to do this, but it will add richness to your divination work. These practical suggestions embody a whole range of easy and fun things for you to try and will get the positive energy of unicorns flowing into your life. Um, and it says the enchanted unicorn images are intended to be represent representations of plants rather than purely botanic botanical illustrations. Stylized foliage, fruit and flowers sprout from the unicorns heads and bodies, capturing the spirit of weird and wonderful drawings of the original manuscript. Oh, so I wonder if they're, um, oh, so it's based on the Vonich manuscript. Wow. The illustrations and oracle meanings are inspired by a 15th century codex, the Vonich manuscript also known as the Beneke MS-408, one of the most perplexing mysteries in the history of cryptology. Oh, it dates from between 1404 and 1438. The text and illustrations feature astronomical, biological, cosmicological, and pharmaceutical information, as well as herbal recipes and details about the cosmos. How interesting. I did not know that. Okay, so here are the backs of the cards. I think the backs are absolutely so beautiful. Part of the reason I got this deck was it just is so fun looking. And let's go ahead and look at some of the cards. So here is Invention, Dragonfly, Fireworks. So here you can see a unicorn. What's this one? Flytrap, Solar, 1967, that's super interesting. Flowerful. Hedge Row. Bury Me. <laughs> Rainforest. Union. Oh my God, these cards are just so fun. Strange Fruit. Tubular Bells. Vessel. Cherish. Anata, I don't know how to say that. Mirth, 1000. Divinity, wow, that kind of looks like Buddha. Shroom, <laughs> intergalactic. Rainbow, huh, look at, do you see the um, chakras? Cupcake, oh my goodness, that's hilarious. All Souls, oh my goodness, this just tells me I was totally right, psychedelic to get this deck. Transform, Greenwood, Ignite, Blossom, oh my goodness, these are amazing. Snacks, <laughs> Water Reel, look at the Lotus, so pretty. Love Spell, Toadstool, Sex Magic. Glorious Mess, and Pipe Dream. Wow, let's go ahead and pull a card. 
I'm so excited to work with this deck. It's so pretty. What did it say? There's a total of how many cards are in this deck? 36. Too bad there's not more because I just love all the drawings and illustrations. The art is just amazing. All right, what do you think we got today? We got Cherish. So on this card, it says, rediscover the sweetness of life. And then it has like, you know, it looks like parts of the manuscripts and it looks like it has this goddess symbol right here. And it's number 15, so let's see. Oh, I opened right to it, how interesting. Rediscover the sweetness of life, cherish. Chicory is a curious and handy little plant which offers several different delights. The purple-blue daisy-like flowers produce a beautiful summer bouquet. In winter, the leaves turn into the salad vegetable radicchio. Oh, I didn't know that which is considered, considered a delicacy. The roots are dried and ground to create popular coffee-like beverage. Both the salad and the root have a pleasing, bitter taste and purify the blood. On a metaphysical level, chicory brings us unconditional love, relaxation, and a promise of sweet life. That's so cool. And then it has a divination. The cherished unicorn brings a timely message. Be grateful for what you already have and cherish the gift life has given you. This opens a doorway to even more beautiful life. The secret is being thankful. And it goes on a little bit and it has unicorn magic at the end. The unicorns encourage you to start a gratitude journal. Each night before bed, write down at least 10 things that you have been thankful for in your day. Even if it's as simple as a warm, comfortable, fully bed and a full belly. Write a thank you letter to your higher self detailing everything you're grateful for and be assured of more good stuff on its way. What a great card. I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough of the Unicorn, Enchanted Unicorn Oracle deck. I'm so excited to work with this deck. Go ahead and check out my Instagram if you wanna see more pictures of this deck. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button so I can see you again next time.